Our question says it wants us to write three basic equations that would allow us to derive the expressions for the allowed radii and the allowed energy of electron states in the Bohr model of the hydrogen atom, or at least the Bohr model of the atom, which only works for hydrogen. So Bohr's postulate states that the electron can revolve around the nucleus only in those orbits for which its angular momentum L is equal to the integral multiplied by Planck's constant over 2 pi. Or in other words, L is equal to N times Planck's constant H over 2 pi. Where here N is some kind of principal quantum number. It's an integer value and it's equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. So that's actually one of the equations. So we can box that in. Another one. Um, the force acting on an electron due to the nucleus can be determined by using Coulomb's law. So it says that force on an electron is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of charge and inversely proportional to the square of distance between the nucleus and the electron. So the Coulomb force, F, is equal to K sub C times Z E squared over r sub n squared, where k sub c is the proportionality constant, e is the charge of an electron, and c is the atomic number. And of course, r sub n is the radius of the nuclei, or at least the distance between the nucleus and the electron. So for part c, and I, actually this is also one of the answers, for the last part here, an in an atom, the centripetal force, which we're going to call F sub C, is provided by being equal to the Coulomb force, F. So we can also say that F sub C, which is centripetal, is equal to the Coulomb force, which we just previously called F. Well, the centripetal force is Me times V squared over R sub N, since that's the distance between the nucleus and the electron. And this has to be equal to what we just found for the Coulomb force, which is K sub C, times z e squared over r sub n squared. Well, classically, kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. So if we solve for v, we're getting a term of that kinetic energy. Since m is just the mass value, it's a constant. v here uh, we find is equal to the square root of k sub c times z times e squared divided by, we have this r sub n canceling with the square of that one, so we still have an r sub n, and we have this the mass of the electron value. So there is our velocity value, which is um, at least proportional by the square of the velocity to the kinetic energy. So we have angular momentum, which can get us to angular energy. We have the Coulomb force, and from the Coulomb force, we get a